Hey guys, so today we're gonna to go over my favorite portable tech tools. I have a USB disc here, I'm gonna plug this in and we'll go over each one of the uh, tech tools that I use every day pretty much at clients for myself uh, that really help me out, okay? All right, so I have my USB disc here. It's a gigabyte USB, um, so it's just one gig on there. I got a folder called tech tools and here is a list of all the tech tools that I use. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, breeze through these, go through my favorite ones. So uh, 7-Zip is a great tool, good for unzipping files. Let's say a client is unable to um, zip a file or for some reason their um, um, zip or unarchiver is not able to, uh, it's not working properly. Um, I would definitely use this. Okay, so the next one is Auto Runs. Auto Runs is a great tool. Um, it'll actually check for any, um, any running processes or software in the background. You can actually uncheck it to, uh, to stop it. So let's say Plex Media Server, I don't want that running in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that. Um, we can check, click on Logon and it will um, just kind of specify the Logon ones, so on and so forth. You can actually check a lot of these things. So even drivers here as well. It is a very neat tool, especially let's say, uh, let's say a client is having issues with their computer. Um, possible virus or infection, you can actually go through here and check every single one of these. All right, it's very cool. So the next one we're gonna go through is CC Setup. This is one of my favorite ones. This is actually CCleaner. So you go ahead, double click on that, open up CCleaner. This will analyze, check the registry, check their Windows Explorer, recycle bin, and clear all that stuff out. Um, so any of their temp files through their internet browsing, that will all get cleared out. Uh, but it's it's a great tool. I use this pretty much on most clients that uh, say their PC is slow. This will help um, decongest their computer. Uh, the registry tool is also great as well. So if we go to, uh, let's scroll down a little bit here. So Free Commander is actually a really cool tool for um, a uh, file manager. Let's say you're at a client, you gotta move a lot of files back and forth or uh, view something. You can actually have two different views here. So as you can see, I got the tech tools on the right side. I can go to, um, to my desktop on the left side, documents and so on. So it's pretty cool, you just dra drag and drop. All right, so the next tool we're gonna go to is Putty. So pretty much every tech should know what Putty is. Putty is a great tool. It allows you to SSH, serial, um, terminal into um, devices. Um, Let's say you have a Linux box, you can SSH into it, you can Telnet into it, uh, you can serial into a Cisco device. Uh, it does uh, pretty much everything. All right, so the next one is Speccy. Speccy is actually one of my top favorite ones. Um, I use this one pretty much every time I go to a client, especially a new client, we're doing a discovery of their site. I like to run this application on their computers. It will uh, check all their, it'll analyze their computer, um, give me all the information, and I can save it as an actual text file. So. Let's go ahead and run it. We can see what it run, how, or what it looks like on my computer here. So I got Windows 10, 64-bit, i7. I got my graphics card here. Shows, um, let's see, we can go to RAM here. We can specify a little bit further. We can click on slot and uh, look into this as well. It's a very neat tool, very great for collecting information about computers. There will be times where I uh, go on, collect it, and uh, check that again You know, later on if I need to. So that's cool. All right, so um, Stinger is a great application um, for antivirus, um, or yep, antivirus, anti-malware. It'll scan the computer um, and check that out. It's actually by McAfee, so that's a good one. Um, let's go to Winderstack. This is one of my favorites. Let's say if a server is, uh, the storage capacity is full or a computer is full, you wanted to go ahead and click on this. All right, so I'm gonna run it on the USB disk for now. And what it'll do, it'll scan the entire drive. It'll check in, check every single file and the size of it. It'll give you a nice breakdown of exactly what each file contains and the size of it. So as you can see here, 26.9 megabytes for files that are portable. Um, it'll actually break down the section here. So it's all squared off right there. This is all files that are files. You can actually go to files here. So this is the next section. Hit the little plus. It'll list everything else here. IP scans, 8.9 megabytes. You can delete the file from here as well. This is a great tool. I really, uh, really use this quite a lot, especially, like I said, if anything is uh, full of storage, 
you can use this, find any files that might not be uh, needed anymore and delete those. Let's close that out. Wise Registry Cleaner is a great tool. It goes to the registry, cleans out any broken extensions, broken files, broken registries. Uh, it's great. I usually use this one over uh, CCleaner's uh, registry editor, but uh, you know this one is great. So ADW Cleaner, this one is actually now um, uh, maintained by Malwarebytes. It is a great tool to clean out malware and adware on a computer. It'll scan the computer. It'll give you a little text file as to what is infected restart it, it'll pop up with that text file again, show you exactly what was removed. It is a great tool, it's actually saved a few computers for me in the past. All right, so hijack this is very similar to auto runs portable. This will actually uh, take a look at each um, process that is running. You can stop it and delete it from there. IP scan is a great tool, I use it every time I'm at a client. Double click it, so this is advanced IP scanner. This is just an ex executable you can install from here, but you can also run it as portable. So we'll run it as a portable. I can go ahead and scan my network. This will give me the you know status, name, IP, manufacturer. It'll give us everything that we need here. So I'll just pause it for now. My manufacturer, so I have a Google Home, uh, I'm sorry, Google Wi-Fi. And so it's made by Google, it shows you the IP address, gives you the MAC address, and uh, everything like that. So it is, an it is a great tool if you can't find something on the network or, or you don't know what the IP address is, you would use this to scan and find it. All right, IP scan, so this is actually Angry IP Scanner. It is exact, is very similar to Advanced IP Scanner. PCD Crapifier does uh, pretty much what it says. It will scan your, your PC for any bloatware and delete that bloatware. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's not uh, much else that I use. Um, so we'll run down my favorite list again. So we'll run down 7zip, uh, it's a great tool. Auto runs, uh, CCleaner. This one I use mainly, um, mainly every time I have a client. Let's see. Putty, Specky, Winderstat, ADW Cleaner and advanced IP scanner. So I'll have a link to my top favorite ones. I'll have links to, uh, to download all of those. But like I said, this is a great tool. I use this these all the time. If you guys have any recommendations or suggestions as to what tools you guys use or uh, anything that uh, you'd like me to display on here, uh, please go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe guys and enjoy your day.